Hello and welcome back to Factorio Tightening the Belt Mega Base Guide. I'm Exterminator and thank you for joining me again. We are up here at the oil because it is now time to go to the uh, advanced oil processing as well as cracking. If you remember at the end of last episode I just started the research for advanced oil processing and we blew through it. It, it finished like a minute after I ended the video. So this now unlocks advanced oil processing, uh, heavy oil cracking to light oil and light oil cracking to petroleum. So if you remember we set this up already. So let's go ahead and set these machines. We now have this extra recipe where we can set this. So it's gonna take some water and turn 40 heavy oil into 30 light oil. Now it's not a great conversion, but it's better than just having it sit in a tank and our lube is full anyways, and we don't use a ton of that. And it looks like this actually worked out perfectly with the water being on the other side. I was a little afraid it might be on this side. Uh, and then these guys were just going to use this recipe and the water is here, which they're gonna be a little more difficult, but not too bad, hopefully. Uh, okay, so water. Um, also, we need to switch these guys over. Let's go ahead and switch these over. Oh, oh, stuck on the pipes. Because this will, in the end, give us more petroleum, which is what we need. Because you can see here that it gives us 55 petroleum, 10 heavy oil, and 45 light, and then all the light is being cracked into petroleum. So first things first, we need to figure out well, first off, I'm now realizing that I done goofed, and uh, <laughs> and this may not be possible with these things right here. Uh, this needs to move. This belt is right in the way. I don't know why I didn't realize this sooner, but uh, this belt may still be in the way. Uh, we'll have to see. And then in regards to that belt compression thing that I was going on about last... Oh, is this really... Or does that... That won't actually insert in there, will it? Yikes, all right, uh, hmm. Okay, well let's hook up the pipes first and then we'll then we'll do the belt. Uh, but in regards to that compression issue, there's a few things I wanna try after we get this done. You guys had some good suggestions. So if we do something like this, do that like so, and pipe, connect these guys. Nope, oh, nope, oh. all right, do that and then water can go here and I think we should still be able to do a belt with longhand inserters maybe it's a bit of a big maybe but I think it'll be doable nope darn it uh, let's see we need even more undergrounds hopefully we have enough iron for this I'm running pretty darn short so this is gonna go like this Need some more pipe and then this guy uh, does connect into here, but I kind of want it, well, I guess it actually wouldn't have to go into the tank first. We're actually just gonna do this, and then, so stop me from running through here. So I'm actually gonna do that, and then I can still run through here if I want. So let's do some medium power poles in here. Is this gonna work? Yeah, let's do like every two. Should work, right? Do that, and then we'll just need some water, and we also need water here. There's no way I'm gonna have enough undergrounds for this. Let's go pick some up really quick. Thought I would have enough, apparently not. Uh, coal, off camera, and actually, let me, we, we no longer need the solid fuel, and this actually goes like nowhere, I don't think. Does this actually go anywhere? No, so this is a huge waste. Let's, uh, I'll leave these here just in case we need them, but I'm gonna turn off the output for it, and they'll back up, uh, but anyway, off camera, when I was messing around with some belts and rerouting some coal, uh, we ran out of power completely, like the entire base shut off because <laughs> uh, because we ran out of coal. So that is definitely something to be careful of. I did hook up the coal from the train though. There's a few more tweaks we need to do to it, but that should be fairly easy. And I do have some undergrounds here. Okay, so that should be ready. And then I would like to bring the other, because we had this other belt of circuits. Right, this one here. I'd like to bring that over to hook into our circuit line, get rid of this, and my uh, my hopes for today is to start working on the mall. There's no way we're gonna finish it uh, unless I just am like super speedy quick, faster than I think, but we are going to start working on the mall just so we can get that stuff done. Cause I mean, we have, actually we don't have purple research. Can we do that? I always forget what this comes with. Wasn't it like the uh, the advanced, this thing? Yeah, we could, let's start researching that. Uh, okay, so we needed water, which could come from any side, really. I guess we, well, I guess we'll, oh dear. Contaminated pipe, that is a no-go. 
Oh, double contaminated. Oh, jeez. <laughs> I, I did a huge rant when I set up oil about not contaminating pipes, and here I am just connecting them all to the wrong thing. Oh, dear. All right. Whew. Luckily, there was, like, hardly any oil in there, and we hadn't actually hooked up water yet. <laughs> Uh, so it should be fine. I did have to tear up all those pipes though, because you could see that they did have the light oil, like a little remnants in them. So how about this time we don't do that. Let's run this somewhere over here. And then this, this is actually going to have to pull over here. There we go. Okay. Whew. That would have been bad. I'm sure you guys were yelling at me. Okay, so now we're going to bring the water over, and I think I'm just going to pull it from this direction. Because uh, what could happen here is he could go like that, and this guy, it's going to be a little wonky, but he can just do something like that. And we will have to move this water line when we expand this, but that's pretty easy. It's not like moving a ton of machines. Uh, and this actually needs to come up one more. Because the same way as we did here, you can't have them in the same plane, right? Because it's going to connect to like the other pipe, so we need to bring it out one more like this and I have mentioned I think once or twice that if you do just walk and hold down mouse click it will connect the underground pipes like power poles at their max distance but we can't really do that here because one we don't want them connected to each other since we need room here and then this is obviously not their max distance so that wouldn't work anyways it's gonna do that hook that up that I put okay I did put a corner on there and then we just need to hook this in and we should be able to just pull water off the same pump Hopefully, because we can only fit this pump here. Uh, it, this pump can do quite a bit of water. All right, let's do that. And that should be good to go, I think. Yeah, I mean, that should all work out, right? So there you go. So these guys are now cracking into petroleum. We take 30 light oil and turn it into 20 petroleum. And at this point, we just need output. And I think we're just gonna output straight into this guy. And then I'm just going to run a pipe across here because it's way easier and it's not really like blocking my movement and there's no contamination uh, that could happen. So that's that's kind of what I'm doing with that. Uh, this is a oh, right out of coal. Right. Let's see if we can get this working. Um, I believe we can if we do something along these lines. It's a little bit wonky, but sometimes you got to do what you got to do. And this actually works pretty well that lined up great with this underground and that should do it so this should turn back on get plastic going get red circuits flowing we already finished this research i think we have like quite a few of these blue science packs built up and i'm now reminded we need radar so we have this solid fuel on here i cut this belt i don't really want to pick it up now but we will do something with it and also power i did expand a bit i did add a, like half of another section here just to last us for a while we're still at like half and we will need more oil, like, really soon. But that can be some off-camera work because it's very straightforward. But there is something. So let's go play with this compression. There were a few ideas I had. People had really interesting thoughts. Like, you guys said that <clears throat> the, the reason it may not be working is because the gear belt was, like, curved right before it merged. You'll see what I mean when we get there. And I'm just picking up some stuff. All right, so, because you see how this is a turn directly before merging, rather, whereas this one is a straight. I don't think that's actually gonna matter. Uh, and the only way to test it right now is just to do something really silly and do this. Uh, and then I will need to purge this belt by walking on it. And that did actually fix it. Okay, that's really interesting. Is it actually that simple? I wonder. That looks pretty darn compressed to me. Okay, so that's really interesting. That's a good call, guys. I, I didn't, like, I noticed it wasn't straight, but I, it didn't occur to me that that would be the reason because it seems like very strange behavior to me that this would not compress just because it's a turn right before merging rather than one space out. It, it seems very odd to me that that's what it would do. Now, that looks silly. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to pick up a ton of gears in the process of this, but... Actually, that can just, all right, so I had an idea with a splitter. We'll go add that in. Let's get rid of this rock. I'll just bring this over one because that looked a little bit odd. So let's do that. 
I'll just pick up these undergrounds here. And then, because we have a ton of gear, so what I'm going to do, I'm just going to use the fancy splitter murdy thing. And we're going to go like that, and we're going to say input priority left. So it's going to prioritize this just to clear out this belt. Once this belt's empty, then it will pull from this one. And then we can pull up the belt once it's done. Uh, so this needed, uh, th this this was done. Everything's Everything's good. So another reason we're over here is because someone else had a very good idea, which I can't believe I didn't think of, is instead of doing this shenanigans with bringing it all the way over and doing this, is simply just split it like this. And of course now we have an entire belt full of engines, but is do this. And this is a this is a lot of engines. <laughs> We're just gonna pick this up. Inventory's full of engines, that's fine. I'm just, again, control right clicking and running to do it. It's not even, because it's like splitting the stacks in half and then putting them in so each time you do it, it's gonna be less, but it's better than having a whole inventory full of engines. So we're gonna do that, and that guy's already connected. So that was a really good idea, thank you for that. I don't know why I didn't think of that myself. Uh, for some reason, I guess maybe I thought that this was a mixed belt, even though clearly it's not. In my head, I thought it was, and I'm like, well, that's not really going to work well, but it's not a mixed belt, so it's good to go. And blues are all the way backed up. We can just start knocking out this research. Uh, nuclear would be probably good, uh, although that's like, this stuff is super expensive, but actually power armor would be fantastic. We need to start getting some robots. So speaking of, let's go ahead and start doing some stuff with the mall. Uh, if we come over here, I'll leave this here for now because connecting the belt is going to be a little bit of a work and we've already done a bit with belts. This needs to go out this way more this way anyways because actually while we're over here, uh, what we do need to do, first off what I need to do is get rid of this. Also, I do want to mention uh, some people have asked for these blueprints on my website and I said I would get them done last weekend. I just ran out of time and I've been really busy and it's a little bit time consuming for me for me to add them. But I just want to let you know that I've not ignored you. I've not forgotten. Uh, I'm just kind of trying to find time to do it. But these blueprints like the circuit one and the smelters and stuff, I will put up on my website, which that is always linked in the description of the videos. Uh, so just uh, try to give me a little bit more time and I will do my best to get it done. Uh, but Anyway, we need another smelter. That That's a huge smelter. Uh, because we actually need stone brick, right? We're going to need the stone brick for the electric furnaces. Because these guys take electric furnaces and the furnaces take stone brick. Which we don't actually have made anywhere in, in bulk. Uh, and then, you know, the steel is already kind of crunched with this. So it can't go on that side. It's going to have to go on this side. Uh, one smelter should be enough, in all honesty. Like, we don't need that much. Um, but I'm just doing that for spacing because obviously this is going to be in the way. So our mall needs to be from like this point over to pretty much here. Which is fine. It shouldn't actually be that long. Uh, so what we're going to do is we're going to start and let's go ahead and make some assemblers. So first thing we want is, I mean we could do belts, although I mean really, well our normal belts we're pulling from the green science, which really could probably work okay. Uh, but I should put some lights. Once we get power armor too, I can get night vision. It's the other benefit. Speaking of power armor, uh, which shouldn't be too hard to get. We need blue circuits, which won't be too far down the road. In comparison, the blue circuits are actually pretty easy. It's, uh, it's the infrastructure that we needed to set up first, and that's why it took like three episodes to get all this done. But now that this infrastructure is here, the green circuits and the, and the red circuits, the uh, blue circuits are super easy because it's literally just... Um, well, if we had it unlocked, which we don't, um, let's see, circuitry, here we go. It's uh, literally just green circuits and red circuits. It's a lot of green circuits, but we can expand the green circuit build, and then sulfuric acid, which is a matter of just piping it over. So it's really easy. Uh, so this guy, we, we do want some belts. Now, there are blueprints, uh, like Captain of Sky has a really, really nice small blueprint. Uh, and there's many others. I think Mojo has some, but we're gonna do this freehand because I want to show you guys this and show you my thought process rather than just putting down a blueprint and then just building on top of it. So we're gonna start this like out here. So we want, uh, I'm thinking that this may take me a second here to just visualize in my head because we're gonna need gears. We're gonna need quite a few gears, in fact. Uh, these guys are probably going to they could go iron. Okay, so if we like make this gears, we're gonna need like several of these. 
So gears here, and then iron could split. So we're gonna do, cause we're gonna have iron belts, probably want like two iron belts here. One really is probably enough. It's not, cause this thing's not gonna be running all the time. Uh, but he's gonna go here. This is gonna come this way. And then we're gonna get some gears. So let's just, I'm doing them in the middle rather than the normal pair just cause there wouldn't be a pair. Uh, so we're gonna do that. And then he's gonna export on this side. And there's many different ways you could do this. Like you could underground them. Um, uh, you could reroute them onto here, which would totally work as well. So actually with that in mind, how many, how many belt, how many gears? These take a bit of gears. I was thinking maybe direct insertion. That seems a little excessive. Although maybe not. Like other things are gonna need gears. So putting them on a belt would probably be better. We could always make more gears on another set of it though. I mean, cause direct insertion, my thought with direct insertion, right? Is these take a lot of gears. And what we could do, is we could do this. And then we could do boom, boom. So this one would be yellow belt, this one would be red belt because he takes way more gears. And then this would just grab iron and then this one doesn't even need iron. Actually, we're gonna do that, we're gonna try it. it. May not be great, I don't know. This is the first time I've ever built a design like this. I'm literally just winging it. Uh, so this will need to split again because I don't wanna pull straight off this main section of the iron. Uh, we want to split it whenever we need something. You know, with that, there will be incremental declines that the farther down you get, because this is splitting 50-50. So we're getting 50% on this belt, but then, you know, we're splitting 50-50 again, but that's half and half from an already split thing. So you know, like this belt and this belt is now actually 25% of the original uh, type of deal, but it's still better than just pulling straight off the main line, I think. And that does not need to go down there. Uh, also, something that someone mentioned I should point out, which I was doing like last episode, is uh, in vanilla, now we do have upgrade planner, I haven't used it yet, this is for like bulk stuff, like when I upgrade my whole bus to red belt, um, but in vanilla there is an option for like quick upgrades. Uh, so if we have an underground belt, if we take an underground belt here and we place it, uh, if you just take a re the next level belt and just click it, it'll just automatically upgrade them, which is really nice. And you can do the same with splitters, like just place the red one on top and we'll do it. Same with dragging red belt over it. Uh, so this is a really nice feature uh, in vanilla. So just a quick note there in case you didn't catch that or wondered how that was working. Let's go ahead and throw some power on here. And again, I don't know, this may not work. If it doesn't work, we'll tear it up and rebuild it. This is a little bit of an experiment to show you guys some different ways of building. Because I strongly believe that you don't have to build a certain way like every single time. In fact, most of my factories are different every single time and I do that on purpose. Uh, so iron, 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 iron. How do we want to do the iron? These belts are a little wonky. Eventually, once we get like four lines and tear up all this stuff, we will want to do proper split offs. There's uh, ways you can do proper split offs that will like pull from everything evenly. Well, actually this line would be great. So, sorry, but you're gonna go. And we're probably gonna run out of circuits somewhere at some point, but we'll just connect the other proper belt. Uh, so I'm just gonna, oh dear. <laughs> Why do I have so much coal in my inventory? We don't need this. Let's go ahead and dump some in there. I have also a lot of gears. So let's tear this up. Also, another tip, pull up your inserters before you pull up your assemblers. I constantly forget to do this and then you end up with this stuff or this like hang in there with stuff in their in their hands and then drop it on the ground. So it helps a lot to uh, to pull up the inserters before the assembler. So we're just gonna bring this over. Now this will interfere with these, but these can just underground, or actually these could just turn and go onto the bus. So it's really not that big of a deal. Let's tear this up. Okay, so that's gonna go there and then power wise, uh, there will be stuff on this side, like we probably, we will probably, what we'll do is we'll probably have more gears made on this side and send those down. I'm not going to direct insert gears everywhere. The reason I did again was just because these take a lot of gears. Uh, and at this point, I don't think we need this in a chest because we have it already in a chest at Green Science and I'm going to start using more red belt anyways. So I think we're just going to uh, stick this part in a chest and that should work fine. Now having this somewhere more convenient than at the very back here would probably be good. Uh, we could 
uh, do this the other way. In fact, well, if we did this the other way, it's not like we'd really have anywhere else to put this. It'll be fine. Once you get power armor and stuff, once we get like robots and the robots can just bring it to us and they don't care where it's coming from. So we're just going to cap this a bit. For now, do something like that. So there's our belt. Next thing I would say in line is probably inserters or assemblers. I would say probably inserters because we use a way, way more of those than we do assemblers. So uh, inserters are going to need circuits and they're going to need iron and they're going to need normal inserters because we're making fast inserters. And these guys are going to need circuits and gears and also iron. So let's go ahead and get... Uh, let's see. Okay, well, we'll just run a circuit belt somewhere. Let's get some... Get some more gears made here. Do we want another iron line? I'm, I'm trying to decide. Seems a little bit excessive to have yet another iron line. I think, I think this is probably okay. <laughs> Maybe? Because, uh, yeah, we, I mean, we want some gears, like, on the butt, on the, on this bus thing, right? So, this is not going to be pretty. Uh, one thing I will say is that all the pre-made blueprints, like Catherine Skies and other people's, you know, they spent, like, 15 hours off camera building those to make them perfect. So, this is obviously not going to be perfect, and it's not going to look super great. But it's going to be my design, and that's what is important to me. It is my design, not someone else's design, and you guys actually get to see me build it. So, yeah, we're going to do this, except that's the wrong direction. So we're just going to grab iron, pull down to here. These are going to export, come over here, and then we have iron and gears on this little mini bus, as it were. And what we'll do is we'll probably make this a red belt in and leave it yellow within here for now. And then once we get blue belt, blue belt, and then red belt it in. Or we could just do the whole thing red or blue belt too. But um, so we are going to have circuits are going to need to go somewhere. Um, they could just like come under, under here. It's not too disorganized, right? I don't think so. So these are going to come over here. And let's place these power poles down like so. All right, so that's gonna spit out gears. They're all on one side, so we will want to uh, probably do something about that. Let's let's have. I mean, there is options. Like, if you want to do a little lane balancer, I don't. I'm not really a fan of these, but that's an option. You just stick a splitter down and then merge onto the side that's empty, and we'll kind of balance it out a little bit. So we're gonna have this come over here, and then circuits will be here so first thing for our inserters is we just need to get all this stuff in and then i'm going to direct insert the normal inserters into the fast inserters because we will get to a point where i'll just be using all fast inserters kind of the same with the yellow belt i don't really need it need these in a box especially because we already have a box over here uh so let's just place some of these down let's go ahead and just do this and then we'll have one here and actually these are going to take normal ones as well so maybe I want to do this a little bit differently. We will want stack inserters actually, so we will somehow need to get red circuits over here. Probably wait until I get robots to do that. Uh, I can I, I can just throw some in for some fast stack inserters, but really red circuits getting over here is gonna be a huge pain, especially because they don't actually come down until way over here. So we are going to want to probably wait to robots for that, which will be within the next episode or so. I would like to get robot set up and get a network going. So I'm trying to think if we have this here, what, what if we, this just requires that iron and gears and then this one's gonna require not gears, but circuits. What if we do, I don't think this is gonna work, but. I don't think this is going to work at all, uh, but we'll see. Let, let, let's see what we can come up with. So circuits are going to go here. He does not need circuits, but he does. So what we could do is split here-ish, except apparently not. Okay, let's do this just so we have a bit more room to place our stuff. And this guy's going to come here. Now this will need iron, so I'm actually going to... Actually, hold on. Why don't you just go there? It's probably a better idea. 
you can just come here. You're gonna import into there. Now this cannot support two, but again, with a mall, it's not something that's gonna be running like all the time as science would, right? So you don't have to worry about like perfect ratios or anything, because uh, it's it, once one fills up, you know, it's not like you're gonna be grabbing from it 100% of the time. So then it can fill up the other one, and it's really not that big of a deal. Uh, so then this guy needs gears and uh, gears and iron, which really we could probably just put like on the same belt in all honesty. Like if he goes here, he goes there. And then this one is gonna split like that, like that, and then we'll underground. Got a little bit messy, but that's okay. Uh, all right, so there and there, and then like that. We will just run it here. These don't need the gears, but they'll just grab the iron anyway. And it's not that much of a waste of gears. Like if, if, if this belt, for example, were 10 times as long, I would not want to have the gears go all the way down because that's, you know, a lot of gears on the belt that aren't ever going to be used. But this is like five spaces, so I don't find it that much of a problem. And we're just going to do this, and then this one actually needs iron and gears and circuits. So circuits can go here, and this could split again. Seems a bit excessive. Uh, what if... Okay, that's just gonna look horrible. Let's just split it again. <laughs> I was like, what if we like zoom it, like z uh, curve it in and then back out? And I'm okay, I'm like, that's gonna look horrible. So we're gonna do that. And then we just need circuits, which I'll just dump some circuits in here. And really, we just need boxes for these two. So we can like long handed them out like that. Take some boxes. Boom, boom, and I'll just set these to two stacks. We really don't need that many right now. So it's gonna eat a lot of stuff, but that's that's okay. Like I said, it's not gonna run constantly. This guy is still building up belt, has almost halfway there. So there's that, and then how are we doing on time? We are at 27 minutes. I think we can probably get a simpler setup too. They're the same ingredients, just a lot of them. Uh, so same type of deal as we did with the inserters right there, except we don't need two things like that. So we're gonna come over here, give ourselves a little bit of room. We could do it up top if we wanted to. We will need circuits though, which that could be interesting. Oh, maybe not actually. Let's let's do it. I mean, I would like to do it here, but that's a little bit silly. Or is it? Well, hmm. Okay, so they both need circuits and they both need iron and gears. Okay, we're going to do it here, and we're just going to bring the belts back, I guess. So he's going to go like that, and then this guy's going to go like that. Like so. And we're going to need quite a few of these. Okay, so you're going to grab from here. And then the circuits, we will need somehow to get circuits. I actually really like, I think we can just do this. It's, again, it doesn't need to be like that insanely fast. So we're gonna split you, come here, like that. And then you are gonna split here. And then the circuits will go, I guess under, and then split. And we keep running out of belt. Well, we have belt here, except of course I decided not to put it in a box. Uh, so again, we're using the faster inserter to grab the higher level, like the highest throughput material. So this needs nine iron and five gears, opposed to three circuits. So we're gonna use a fast inserter here. I would make this a stack inserter, except it's not really gonna matter because this belt is just gonna evaporate and not have the resources in it anyways. And this guy's gonna come here. And then lastly, we just need another set of long-handed uh, maybe. Okay, yeah, actually, we can we can do this. Cause we need to put it in a box, but... That should work. Change my mind. I want you to go here. And then it's actually on the outside, too, so that works perfectly. Do that. You are going to come over here, and then boxes here, 
And we don't actually need one here. What am I doing? So that can just go there. And this guy will just cap it one stack. So he needs circuits, which I apparently, you know, obviously doesn't have. But we will route that over next before next episode. I'll just route that circuit belt over here, and we should be good to go. I'll tear up the rest of this. And you know, it's not the prettiest mall ever, like by any means, but it works, and it's my design. And hopefully, it kind of just gave you something good to watch to do, like just me doing it on the fly. And I think it just, I, ho I hope rather, it showed that you know you can just design stuff however you want. It doesn't have to be someone else's design. It doesn't have to be perfect. And uh, really just being innovative, I think, is the important thing. And that's what I try to do here is just be innovative. I'd never done in a mall like this gear to direct insertion. I tried it, never done something like this. And we tried it and someone is going nuts on their horn outside. So let's <laughs> let's end this video here. As always, guys, thank you so much for watching. I appreciate it. I hope you enjoyed and found it helpful. Any questions or anything else you have, leave down in the comments. But until next time, I look forward to seeing you all and do take care.